Hello everybody. I hope you're doing well. I am going to do a dirty pour today of some sort. I haven't decided quite what, but I did a class this past Saturday and the, one of my students picked these colors and I would have never probably put them together. It's kind of like a hot pink red. Hers was a little bit more magenta and this is just a color I had left over that's a little bit more red. And then a, kind of a turquoisey green and a butter golden color and a gray. And I am showing you just how to mix one of these colors just so you can see how I do my typical recipe. This happens to be Artist Loft Gray and I'm going to mix it one to one. That's my typical ratio and I may even go a little bit more than one to one on the this is Oetrol Easy Flow and it's pretty much the same thing as Floetrol. Floetrol is available online from Amazon and Lowe's and Home Depot and different paint stores. Oetrol is a European company but I offer it on Amazon and you can also get it from OetrolUSA.com. It is a very, very good quality. Uh, it's, it's more expensive than Floetrol, but it's very self-leveling and smooth. Less fluggers in it. It's water-based paint conditioner and uh, again it's a European company. I'm going to pour on a 14 inch canvas today. And I'm just going to mix this up real quickly and fast forward through this part of it. So I mixed it pretty much to the brim which I put a little too much paint in and so forth so it's so much harder to stir your paint up when you uh, put too much in your cup so this is a full I don't know that might be a nine ounce cup and I did add some white to this because it is darker and I wanted it a little bit lighter and then I'm I transferred my OGX hair serum into a little dropper bottle that I found at, at Hobby Lobby. They were like a, I think a two pack. So I just put a drop or so in my gray. So my red bottle has the water mixture. That's what you saw me adding to my paint. So that was just water mixture and these are, uh, I mixed that myself, that's an Arteza color. I mixed all these myself, that's an Arteza. And then I have Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and Black in my squeeze bottles with a one to one ratio with Oetrol or Floetrol and no silicone or OGX. These have silicone in them, this one has OGX in it. Okay, so I've got a 14 by 14 inch canvas and I'm just going to do a dirty pour into the cup and see what happens. So I'm starting with white. I'm going to put a pinch of black here and there just for fun.
So this is more paint than I'll ever need. So I may end up doing more than one canvas here. I'm not going to flip because I've got too much paint, so I'm just going to have to pour. I really like this little bit of area right there, but and I'm letting it sit. I'm being patient with it and letting it sit for a few minutes. So I'm going to give it a few minutes and then I'll come back. I'm just going to make sure it kind of looks like it's drifting that way and I don't want to lose that so I'm just going to make sure I've got, got it lifted up here.
Okay. So there it is. got two pieces of cardstock. They're six inch pieces of cardstock. And I'm just gonna put my leftover paint And maybe I'll put a little bit of this um, Thalo Viridian Green. Touch of black. I got some gray too. I'll use a little gray. And this cardstock will probably um, curve. It'll probably not stay flat. That's the bad thing about cardstock. But I had some pieces of cardstock, and I thought, well, I'll just use up a little bit of it. So I'm going to put this one on top and press down like a sandwich so it moves around, it's squishy, and then I'm going to pull it away. So there it is. I kind of got that one big blob area of red. I don't know if I can... Uh, I won't worry with it. I'll leave the red. So I'm going to put this aside to dry, but there's a dip just on cardstock. So this is just a leftover pour, but what I wanted to attempt to do take some of this red paint, this crimson colored paint. I'll put a little dollop of yellow in there somewhere. I'm going to dip me a bottom of a bottle.
Okay, I'm going to call this one done. I was just playing with the leftover paint. Trying to see what I could come up with. It's bizarre. But I had fun. It's always fun to play. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out all of the links below the video. PayPal, Patreon, my Facebook group, my website. There's an Arteza link. And right now they have some Christmas bundles going on that are really good prices. And you can use my code to get an extra 10% off. And I think they have free shipping. So check it out. And have a great day. Have a nice week. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.